shit, this is gonna be a fucking war. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a slobber knocker. <laughs> a slobber knocker. I bet you've used that term several times, huh? Once or twice. Uh, Melvin, the young tough, assassin? tough guy. Justin Wyman, this kid's an assassin, okay? <laughs> This is gonna be probably the best fight. This could be a fight of the year candidate, easily. Justin going for a knee bar, real fast. He needs to, he needs to get his hip through there. Oh, Melvin, nice shot. No, Cam's right not to stop that. Justin is a tough guy, tough, tough guy. Justin is an excellent wrestler, great wrestler. Side control, back mount. Melvin is a really, really strong kid. I say kid because he is a kid. Huge, huge future in this sport if he decides. He should, that's inexperienced right there. He should not be throwing punches. To try to get out of here. This is grappling, chain wrestling. Nice, nice suplex attempt and throw. Rolls through. Justin is maybe the most unassuming guy you're ever going to meet in your life. And maybe one of the most dangerous. Melvin, real tough kid, real calm. Justin is a technician. He is just relentless. Where, where more is Melvin is more of a power, abrupt striker. Justin is just, the guy's a worker. He doesn't stop. Very calm, very collected, and you're not going to shake this kid. I mean, I call them both kids because I'm older than dirt. But... Oh, you're not that old. I just aged well. 14. 21 um, holding. Nice right, nice left hook attempt by Melvin. Justin is a, is a great wrestler, college level. Excellent, excellent wrestler. Nice, nice throw! Beautiful hip lock takedown by, by uh, Justin Wyman. Actually, Justin dropped down from 185 to come to 170. Melvin, showing his inexperience, needs to let go of that headlock. It's really not helping him out a whole lot. Mixed martial arts, it's, it's really a detriment to your game. He's wasting a lot of energy. Melvin's a thick, thick, powerful kid. That blood starts, you know, starts building up lactic acid. He's just, those are, that's power right there. Justin, one hook. Justin's a great back ride. Beautiful back ride. He's gonna break, I think he's gonna break Melvin now. He's getting a little high right now. On his back. Melvin, very composed on top. Very composed. Beautiful escape by Justin, back on top of him. Justin's a machine. Nice attempt, miss. Side ride. Nice knee attempt. Melvin needs to get his hands up. Justin is not even breathing right now. Nothing. Very calm. Beautiful. Oh, good throws coming. Nice! Huge double leg take -up. Half mount, half guard, whichever you prefer. Full mount by Justin. So what is Justin? What do you think the plan is going to be? Justin is just round, round, round down. Melvin has to do something. He's not fighting back. Nice bridge attempt, coming out the back door. You cannot hold on that. This is just doing him absolutely no good whatsoever. When you sit there and grab around his waist like that, you're a target. A nice right hand by Justin. I think Melvin's gonna find it terribly hard to dislodge him from this position. He is an experienced grappler. And like I said before, I don't even think Justin's even breathing yet. Justin, 45 seconds. He is. Melvin's gone too. Melvin, a nice neck bridge to a roll, but you know something. The way 
the way Justin fights, I really don't think anything's changed right now. He's just very cool. Those not having a lot of effect. He's got his he's got his right arm trapped, so he's not being able to crank down that right elbow. Oh, left elbow, excuse me. Nice, nice shot by Melvin. Justin's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Now he's in trouble. He's got it. He's got a recoup saved by the bell. This is the first time I've ever seen Justin Wyman in trouble. First time ever. Ladies and gentlemen, um, you want to bring your hands up there for bring your own Make a little bit of noise out there for this beautiful thing. Round number two. Hold on, Justin's going to come back. Get as strong as ever. Justin really, he needs to shake it off. That was a heavy right hand. I, I, I pride myself on my striker. And for me to call out a heavy right hand, that was big. <laughs> and in my opinion, at the stage of their careers right now, right before the last punch, I would have considered just a bigger threat to me. Right now, Melvin, that, that, that right hand was a big threat. Justin still looks a little glassy eyed, but I think he's okay. Justin should not be doing that. That's almost a, a sign, an admission of defeat. Tapping gloves before the beginning of every round. He shouldn't do that in my opinion. Nice takedown again. Here he goes. He's a big finisher, Justin. In my opinion, I think Justin's so a little right. He should hold his position, he should strike. Take his time, pile up the points, and try to win this round. That right hand at the end of the first round gave it to Mo. He is, he's, he's, he's creating space, he's throwing some leather. Justin passes guard. You absolutely need space. We're gonna punch from the bottom. We've got to create space. But you know, Melvin it just seems he's like a half step faster. Not, not, not necessarily knowing where Justin's gonna go. It's just sheer instinct. Oh, he's got double legs. Got complete back mount. Justin's gotta clear Melvin's arm to get that second leg in. And he's working a choke right here. Really? Oh, very nice. That's pure power. That is pure power on Melvin's part. Justin is trying to sink it in. Beautiful escape. And Justin still does not look like he's breathing. Now, as we saw in the last round, this is a very dangerous position for Justin. Melvin, Melvin can strike thunderously hard from, from the top. He needs to control his head, keep him down so he's going for an arm bar. He's not going to get it. He had better bail out of this fast. Nice shot by Melvin. Justin has got to roll out of this. He's got to face up and roll out. Melvin hits like a, Yeah, he hits it. That's it. was the fight of the night. And to beat Justin Lyman is no small feat. You know, everybody thinks the UFC has the best fighters in the world. The reason is because they have pay-per-view. These two guys in the 170 pound class are definitely two of the toughest guys you'll ever see. Melvin the youngest actually